The Culture Show is brought to you by Highway 55 Burgers, Shakes, and Fries. The Professional Fence Company. Our name says it all. No job too big or too small. Nunboys.com. In GPS photography and video, GPS photo and video.com. Welcome to the Coaches Show. I'm Glenn Young alongside head coach Tom Paris. How you doing, coach? I'm doing. <laughs> and how none? The Coaches Show is brought to you by Highway 55, Burger Shakes and Fries, Professional Fence Company, ProFence.com. Find them on the web and on Facebook. Their name says it all. No job too big or too small. Give them a call. 910-875-5912. Nunboys.com. Marketing, advertising, t-shirts, GPS photography and video, GPS photo and video.com. Coach, um, Scotland County is as advertised. <laughs> number one we'll team in the state right now. They are number one now. now. So they moved up from three when we played them uh, to number one as the rankings have come out. We got down early two scores, but there was a point in the game where you you had to say to yourself, if we had all of our resources, if we had all of our players, because well, the injury bug has really hit us hard. Last two weeks. You yeah. know, this may have been a different out outcome. There was a point in the pregame. <laughs> <laughs> there was a where, point there where was everybody point. was ready to roll. There was mm -hmm. a point before we ever kicked it off, you know, yeah. that, that, that you, you look around and you know, you think, wow, if um, if we could just be at full strength, um, mm -hmm. you know, only in so being are we truly able to find out what we're potentially capable of. But with that, I'm very proud of, of how our players oh, no play. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we again we made mental mistakes. We made right. we made huge we made huge mental well, but we came away. You look at it this too. Mm -hmm. We came away zero in the turnover market. You true. know, uh, we had two. Uh, they had two. We forced yep, two Sean's to recover. Ball, ripped the ball out from um, the running back. You know, we we had uh, we had another one that we recovered, and and of course they had one that they recovered. So. You know, you come away three and three and zero in the turnover margin. That's that's the best we've been in in, in that category all season long. Um, but look at their you look at their second series and and you know they they jet it motion. Was a gadget play. They jet motion a guy across uh, you know from the home side and 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 they run. They do the little jet sweep, we call it Georgia, and, and then as soon as the ball snapped, I see the receiver, you know, on our side start going that way. And, you knew uh, right then. You know, and I, we yell reverse, reverse, reverse. Mm -hmm. And then I look into the secondary, and I see everybody <laughs> biting on the run. Right. And I watch that inside receiver just run. Just on. tail right, right, right there. And it was and, uh, it was almost like it was almost like you were watching a slow motion movie on that play. And you know, uh, before before the guy who took the took the reverse oh, even wow. flipped it back to the quarterback. <laughs> you know, the only guy that was in the pattern was 15 yards behind our safety. Yeah, it was he bit on the run. He bit and, hard on the run. Uh, you know, I talked to Coach Coleman, and, and you know, and I told him, I said, Coach, I know, I know we work this every day. I know we tell our kids to keep our keep their eyes out of the backfield, and. Uh, you know, but I said, you know, not keeping eyes out of the backfield. And, of course, you know, Coach Coleman tells me, Coach, I'm watching the same game you are. <laughs> and, uh, well, let me ask you, did, did you did you see anything in the film that they had run that before? I was just curious. No, they had not run You that hadn't before. seen it. They yeah, because it did get before. you by surprise. I mean, it did catch us. The other thing I wanted to mention was, and we're still talking first half, is is when they got those two scores, uh -huh. I, I'm, I was on the sideline. I didn't feel like it was the air was out of the team because they did for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. But they came right back and they moved the ball down the field. Now they didn't get anything done too much in the first half. But what I want to say is, in the second half, they they really started pounding the ball. Quinn Maynard, I know he's got to be sore and hurt, but they kept coming back. Andre Pegues kept playing tough. These kids did not give up. Not at all. And and we're very. You know, ridiculously proud of Quinn and Andre and, and several other players. Uh, you know, Montrell Douglas and, and uh, Andre for Greece, they connected mm -hmm. a lot uh, on Friday night. Uh, across the middle, caught the ball. Yep. Mm -hmm. There was a I, couple I was, I was like, wow, wow, wow. Montrell Douglas broke some tackles and, and for a good game. And uh, it was strange after the game, James Galbraith, you know, said, hey, Mr. Young, you know, they're not that good. 
And so when you hear that from a player <laughs> after a game, Where they got what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I don't know that James really felt like uh, they're not that good as much as James really – and, and hopefully a lot of other players did, began to realize that we're not that bad. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, from, from an absolute strength perspective, you, you look at those, you, you look at the players um, at Scotland and, and you look at, you know, you look at what they're in and, and you've got kids, uh, you take Jonathan Smith, for example. You know, John, Jonathan's a, a fourth-year player in that program. He's entrenched in that program. He's completely vested in everything that they're doing, and you can look at him and tell that he's a four-year benefactor of a comprehensive strength and conditioning program. You know, I've known Jonathan since he was in the third grade. You know, he and Trey were on the same AAU USA wrestling team, and, uh, you know, nobody's born mm -hmm. big and strong and fast. They have, uh, to, they have to get you there. You saw that across the board with the Scotland team, that no they're doubt. the benefactors of that weight room and a four-year program believing and buying in. And don't think we didn't harp on that. Yeah. Don't think we haven't talked about that. And we, you know, we really, really played on the fact that, that our players have got to understand that commitments have to be made to putting in the time, knowing what needs to be done, so that they can be as big and as strong and as fast. fast. I mean, granted, we're fast. Right. Uh, we, we got speed all over the place. Uh, but we got a lot of guys that just don't necessarily have the same type of momentum when they arrive as, as opposed Pushed to. Pushed around and they're just, they're just not grown into. Uh, it's basically it was a varsity team playing a true JV team. Well, and we arrived well Friday night. There, were, there was a lot of things that we did well. Uh, you know, I, we, there was a lot of positives to glean from it. Mm -hmm. But they're they're overshadowed like we talked about last week. They're overshadowed by the loss. Yes. And, uh, and the big play, the big the big you know, play. And you wonder if you got Jacob Rushton, if you got Donovan Work, if you got all hands on deck. And the kid with the shoulder at the know, beginning of the year. I you forgot just got his name. Brandon Smith. Martez. Martez Riggins. Riggins. Martez you know, was making plays in those games. You, know, you just got to wonder. Well, and and if we're at full strength, are we better? Um, yeah. yeah, no doubt about it. To what degree? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, we're not going to know. Yeah. Well, we'll, well, overall, I'll tell you the what team we will did tell. not play that bad. No, I tell you, that we will. when we will tell, we'll find that's in the spring. Yes. Because you know what? That. I know for a fact, and I want to mention this because uh, Coach uh, Principal Roger Edwards mentioned it to me. He says, we're not, <clears throat> yes, wins and losses mean stuff, and yes, it stings when you lose these games. However, but your goal, his goal, the school's goal, the middle school, the high school, is to build this program. No doubt about it. All right, and we, we've had it weak for a little while. There's been numbers have been down. They were up for a while, then they went down. Well, they're coming back. And this spring, we're going to come together and we're going to try to find a way to make it happen. Well, we're going to, we're, we're going, you know, we're going to work as hard as we can to collaborate with the middle schools. I've visited all three middle schools. I've talked to the players. I've, you know, got one of them the right coaches. here. Yeah. Sure do. <laughs> and, um, you know, and that's a big piece of it. And talking to the players at the middle school, I've stressed the same things that we talk about, you know, on our staff with our players and, and the necessity to make commitments and, and how much it takes to be, you know, successful in our league. Scotland County, a, a Richmond County, a or, or a Hope, or a Hope County. County. A uh, Hope County that we want it to be. Well, I think there's no doubt in my mind that we can be competitive at that level. It's just we need the commitment from, I think, the parents, the kids, and the community. Mm -hmm. And and that's sort of what we're doing the coaches well, show those, for. We're yeah, sort of getting people out there. Been, I, I, I've enjoyed you coming on and talking, Coach. I know it's been tough. We only got two more better weeks. better circumstances, more but, I mean, well, you know, it comes down to buying in and believing in a, in a program. You know, y'all's willingness to do this, to promote our program, it's all about the kids. Yeah. And, and you know, I know we talk about the parents and we talk mm -hmm. about the community, but, you know, it begins with the kids. Mm -hmm. It begins with the kids and it ends with them. And uh, they're the ones they're the ones that are out there on the short grass, inside the lines, doing what's got to be done. And they still got to go home, do their homework, and prepare to be students just like everybody else right. who leaves school every day at 340. Right. Um, you know, everybody everybody can't do what we do. And if, if football was easy, we'd have 500 kids out there trying <laughs> out football. It is what it is. Last thought, Coach. What did Coach Bailey say to you? You know, he uh, – Richard and I have known each other a long time, and uh, you know Richard 
we, we talked a little bit before the game, and um, as, as realistic as both of us are, um, you know, I told Richard, I said, Coach, we're going to do our best and give you the best game we possibly can and take you somewhere nobody else has. And uh, he said, I know you are. He said, no doubt in my mind. He said, whatever happens, he said, you're my friend. And, and I said, well, I appreciate that. And, uh, and I told him, you know, same thing. And we shook hands at the end of the game. I, you know, I told him good game. And, uh, you know, he asked me about how healthy we were. And I told him, you know, it looked like we were fine. And then Coach Johnson, Coach Johnson told me, you know, good game. And, and then I told him, I said, Coach, you can be nice without lying. <laughs> Well, Coach, we're going to leave it there. Uh, great plays around. You know, Sean Small ripping the ball out, a couple of fumbles. For Geese to Montreal Two Douglas. Touchdown. Uh, and the kids really played up. They didn't play down to the competition. Uh, I really think they enjoyed the moment, regardless of the outcome. There was a big crowd, too. Yeah, yeah so we'll leave crowd. it there. Uh, when we come back, we're going to go right into Pernell Sweat as we go to visit the Rams Woo. this Friday night. We'll be right back. <laughs>